What's up YouTube, back with another video. And today I'm gonna be going over the Flow Freelance here in 2K23. This is a really good perimeter oriented offense that can get you a lot of three point shots. And it's also really useful for teams that don't have a shooting center or power forward because you can still generate three point shots even though you have two non shooters on the court. So this could be good with a lot of historic teams or just lineups where you wanna play big but still be able to create shots on the perimeter. This Freelance is also really good against three two zone because in the 3-2 zone, the corners are pretty exposed. And this freelance has a lot of actions where somebody's already in the corner or they're going towards the corner. So you'll be able to easily break a 3-2 zone with this freelance. So I'm going to be going over a few actions that you'll see and the scoring opportunities you'll have. So with that being said, let's get into it. So when you bring the ball up the court, this is the type of spacing you'll see. You'll have a guy on one of these wings. Uh, your center will be on one of these blocks. Your power forward will be at the elbow, either left or right. And then somebody's going to be in one of the corners. So I dribble up to the middle. And then um, Chris Mullen, he'll get this screen. he come out to the wing. So you this is your first three-point opportunity. And you can get a lot of threes off this simple action alone, especially if you have a good screener. You got somebody that has a, a, a pretty decent shot. You could get this three off a lot, but I just hold it and you either could pass it back or keep it. So right here, I keep it. I dribble up to the top and then over here, Mitch Richmond gets the screen. He comes out to the wing, but over here, uh, Tim Hardaway, he gets this screen and go into the corner. So you got two options for threes here. I usually go with this option. Is this option is usually more consistent and this pass is also less risky than this one over here so i usually tend to use this one right here so you get another three-point opportunity and then um tim hardaway he gets the screen goes baseline he comes out to this corner and then uh chris mullen after making that pass he gets a flare screen and goes out to the other corner so again you have another two um Three point options. I usually tend to use the flare screen, but uh, but if this is open, then I will obviously pass it to him. But right here, I use a flare screen. I don't get the shot, and the, um, the freelance it just ends in a pick and roll. So I take the pick and roll, and I get a midi. Uh, you also get the pick and roll if you pass it to the other corner as well. So if I was to pass it to uh, Tim Hardaway and he doesn't get open, uh, he'll get this screen right here. But I don't really like it over here because uh, Mitch Richmond, he still stands over here. Like, he, he kind of doesn't move. So, you you got to, like, it's a lot of traffic over here. So, over here, you got a lot more space to work with after you get the screen. So, that's why I prefer the, the flare screen. So, that's just something to keep in mind. So, like I said, right here, I take the screen and I get a midi. So right here, I bring it up to the middle again. Uh, Mitch Richmond gets the screen. So you got a, a potential shot right here. But this time, instead of keeping it, I give it back. And from here, you get this uh, this screen right here. So you could take this screen. You could take it all the way. You could pull up with some mid-ranges, get a step back into the corner. But while that's happening, um, Mullen, he gets this uh, stagger screen. He comes up to the top. So you'll get... Uh, some open threes up here and if you get the timing down you could like wait a second and then take the screen and like you know make like you're driving because over here after uh mullen gets the two screens mitch richmond gets this screen and go to the corner so uh right here like i take the screen but I just like I'm just standing here waiting for the action to happen. So like if you practice it a little bit and get the timing down, you can make it so where as you're driving, Mitch Richmond is getting the screen into the corner. So you have a, a another opportunity. So uh, but right here. I just wait for it to happen. 
and I end up getting a three. You can also get this action right here. So I bring the ball up to the middle. Uh, Chris Mullen gets this screen, but I don't pass him the ball. I just hold it. And then he sets me a screen. So from here, I could create a shot, get into my mid range, step back. But um, while this is happening over here, uh, Mitch Richmond, he gets this screen, goes out to the corner. So you got a potential shot over here. And uh, Mullen, he will get this flare screen. Go out to the corner and right here he gets open for the three. Yo, watch him. Hey, yo, right here. Watch the pit. Close out on red red. Yeah, keep letting that fly, baby. So right here, I bring it up to the wing, and Mullen, he'll get out the corner, go up to the top. He gets this screen right here, and then after that, they both screen for uh, Mitch Richmond in the corner. He comes out to the top, and he gets open for the shot. You can also get this action here as well. So again, I bring it up to the wing. Mullen gets out the corner, goes up to the top. He gets this screen, but this time they don't send send the, the double screens for Mitch Richmond. He just goes out here, and then he comes back up, gets another screen. And so you got a three-point opportunity right here as well. Sometimes you also see this action as well. I don't really know what triggers it. It just happens randomly sometimes. But right here, I'm on the wing. And then uh, Mitch Richmond, he'll come out the corner. You get this screen. So you got a potential three over here. And then Mullen, he'll get a screen, come out to the wing. And then uh, Hardaway, he'll go around you and then get this like flare screen. He won't go all the way to the corner, though. He'll go out to the wing. So... Um, you got a couple potential three point opportunities with this action as well. But like I said, I don't know like what really triggers these actions to happen. It just happens randomly or maybe in like semi transition. But most of the time you'll get the other actions when you go up to the wing. So that's pretty much it for the video. Those are pretty much all the actions that you'll see. You might see some like variation or some actions that don't really pop up too frequently but can happen. But these are the ones that you'll see most often. And you get a pretty good amount of perimeter opportunities. You have a good amount of options. And like I said, this is great for teams that have, you know, your point guard shooting off small forward that are really good shooters, but maybe have a traditional power forward center combination that don't really shoot. You can still get three point opportunities. This is really good against 3-2 zone because in the 3-2 zone, the corners are pretty exposed. So in these actions, there's always somebody either in the corner or going to the corner. So if someone plays 3-2 zone on you, you can just absolutely destroy them with this freelance. And this is one of my favorite freelances on the game. I've used this freelance quite a bit. And it's a freelance that I just always seem to find myself back to every now and then. So that being said, hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.